This is the MMA Brief Podcast. Recapping the world of mixed martial arts every single week with your host, Brandon Johansson. Welcome back to the MMA Brief. Episode 36. Recapping UFC Fight Night 114 for Mexico City. Another event that flew under the radar but ended with a record tying seven first round finishes. To start the UFC fight pass prelims, Jordan Rinaldi secured the fourth Von Flu choke in UFC history at two minutes and one second of round one. I was lucky enough to see the third Von Flu choke live in Nashville when Ovin St. Peru got the tap. Jason Von Flu was the first to accomplish this ultra rare shoulder choke back at UFC fight night three. The tone had been set right from that first fight. And in the second bout of the UFC fight past prelims, Joseph Morales got the submission over Roberto Sanchez via rear naked choke at 3 minutes 56 seconds of the first round. Skipping to the second fight of the FS1 prelims, Ronnie Yaya locked up a Kimura that got the tap out from Henry Baronis at two minutes and one second of round one. In the very next fight, Dustin Ortiz knocked out Hector Sandoval in 15 seconds of the first round. It was the fastest knockout in flyweight history. Jack Hermanson TKO'd Bradley Scott in round one. He got top control and pounded out his opponent. He seems to have a combination of excellent top control and powerful ground and pound. This is his second consecutive first round TKO. Smiling Sam Elvey got the biggest win of his career over former champion Sugar Rashad Evans by split decision. Humberto Bandene had a successful UFC debut with a knockout over Martin Bravo in 26 seconds of the first round. It was a devastating knee, highlight reel material. If you're a Just Bleed fan, this was the event for you. If you're just randomly flipping through the channels and all of a sudden you see guys' heads flying off in the first round, 26 seconds in, 15 seconds in, minute in, two minutes in, it was a great event. Moving to Nico Price versus Alan Joban. Nico Price was able to remain undefeated by knocking out Joban in 1 minute and 44 seconds of the first round. In the co-main event, Alexa Grasso picked up the split decision win over Random Marcos. I disagreed with that. I thought Marcos had won the fight. In the main event, Sergio Pettis picked up the unanimous decision win over Brandon Moreno. Fantastic win for him in his first main event in the UFC, and afterwards he called for a rebooking with Henry Cejudo, which was interesting. A lot of people thought he should have called out the champion. UFC is on a hiatus until September 2nd. I figure if Snoop Dogg can make a Snoop cast for Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series, I can make a, a brief cast. So... You'll be able to sync it up, watch the fights on Fight Pass, play it right here on YouTube. Thanks for listening. Peace.